<laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Now I, what? <laughs> I, I have to ask one for the class. How do you say Linux in Portuguese? Linux. <laughs> Why do you say it wrong in Portuguese? <laughs> And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly Show. It covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week is no exception. I'm Vin Stone here in beautiful downtown Athens, Georgia, switching the bits, doing the nightmare fuel all under Linux, and the man still contained in Canada. Yes, Toronto is still able to hold his mighty, mighty ginger-flavored candy. Was it good? Yes. Yes. Ginger mm. flavored candy, which is my is which is what I call my butt cheeks. Sweet, sweet ginger flavored candy. That is candy. one Jordan's fang. And the man on the island, staying up past his bedtime, as always, is Pedro Mateus. You know him. I love him. Together with you, Shat Room Dynamic, join us live, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Oh, totally didn't do that one. Oh, what's up, everyone? Are we having fun? Or are we still? Well, Pedro, you get to, you get to leave the house on occasion, don't you? Yeah, it turns out I'm a key worker, and uh, <laughs> yeah, no, on Monday I have to be at the office again, because, uh, hey, guess what, we need to set up a bunch of laptops, because, um, yeah, the Cambridge office is one of the three out of the 50 that used to be, you know, active in the whole country at one point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, there's three. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Do you think new with you, J-Baby? I mean, I, I heard you uh, when we were talking in the pre pre super shows, and you were like, Yeah, I was doing some car pushes. I was like, Oh, okay, that's some new terminology they have in the gym and that I'm just unaware of. But nay, no, I, I, <laughs> I, went, to an, I went to an empty mall parking lot because all the mall parking lots are deserted. It's like a freaking <laughs> zombie movie. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I pushed a Subaru around for like an hour, and it was good. I got to push it up a hill, it was hard. I really miss like miss lifting heavy stuff, so it's it's something to do until the gyms reopen. Mm. Dune, um, I, if you paid attention on Wednesdays, I'm just sitting back with my mind to wash, trying to figure out what to do with all of this AMD cheddar that was sent my way. Oh, you, the, you, um, you finally you finally got the five dollars from the class action suit. Five dollars. Okay, first there was the initial shock because I told Pedro I go through the thing on you know the USPS gives you like a scan of all your stuff and I see it either like what the hell is that okay fine I'll go check it's like wait a minute because if you bought a bulldozer processor way back in the day they just you'd never applied for anything you just got a mailer it's like punch this code in and we'll put you in the class action whatever like fine whatever forget about it forget about it whatever it's been like a year or two and I get the check and I'm like oh this is gonna be funny I get to like take a picture of the check and it's gonna be a buck 75 cents something 30 bucks all right that's not, that's that's better than i would have expected lost I, I mean, like, huh. yeah my, my guess was five dollars so you know <laughs> right i five would have been i was thinking five to seven something like that maybe mm. you know mm. be, uh, i get checks back from our emc with the power company and they're like seven dollars i've never deposited them like whatever but yeah i'm gonna frame that wall that put that somewhere also i'm proud to say after coming up in nine years uh Linux team cast uh we have been contacted by netflix oh jesus are we gonna have a netflix original series i am not being facetious i'm not joking we have not discussed this we have oh, no. 100 oh, no. legitimately been contacted by netflix don't give us a budget please please netflix don't do it don't or, you do know, it do it do see it. what happens <laughs> Yeah, they, they they don't want us to monetize anything because they think we're posting Stranger Thing videos. So they sent us a message on YouTube. Wow. <laughs> oh, that kind of contacting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> yep. Video I, cannot I, I, be monetized. I, Only the one. We've been uh, using this uh, uh, homage to the Stranger Things credits for two years, three years. Wow. Well, like yeah, since, since Stranger Things started, basically. Now, to their credit, they didn't like copyright us or anything like you just can't make money on that i straight up disputed that i will take that to court because that is not using <laughs> anything from stranger <laughs> things whatsoever that is 100 percent whole cloth i mean yeah it kind of looks like it but it never says stranger things it doesn't play the music so unless you're going to try to like claim intellectual property on 
loading text. bullshit credits that we make at the end of our show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Netflix. We'll dance. <laughs> I'll call up Leonard and be like, yo, you want an easy case? <laughs> oh man no see 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 now now we're, now we're gonna get an email from amazon saying would you like a prime original series <laughs> oh that's it oh, that's how it works man somebody's just oh shit netflix has got them they didn't finish the rest of it yeah <laughs> go, here's your money oh man yeah dude um uh, maybe maybe that new series on prime um uh, possibly also coming to a- abc family this summer is about our horse yeah, his name is Kersey, and <laughs> he wants to help you put together your goddamn documents. But until oh, then, he's going to deliver the you the stream. The stream. The stream. stream. Update. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uh, stream. What? You died to me. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby, we're we're still copyright claimed. But... Got it. No, yep. uh, Steam, Steam, Steam has a new client update um, for the beta. Uh, so there was a bit of an edge case. Uh, we're going to be talking about it a little bit more. But there was a game that was previously on the Proton whitelist. That's like, hey man, we got a Linux version for you. And uh, as as it turns out, if you had the whitelisted version installed, you could not download the native version. Uh, they have fixed that in the beta. Uh, they also have some stuff on uh, containerizing Steam. They're they're adding some more stuff there. We haven't really seen anything substantial on that front, so I'm still kind of curious what they're planning on doing. And hey, there's a new Steve runtime. I wonder what's in it. Hmm. Yeah, the, it seems the container thing was uh, mostly like better support for new versions of uh, GLibc for people out there with your fedoras and your arches and whatnot, uh, which is nice because that was always something that Steam had a bit of a problem with, specifically when it comes to the open source video drivers. <laughs> you always had to go into the runtime and uh, move a couple of libraries out of that folder because it's like, no, 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 I can't run with that. <laughs> I didn't notice any difference. One thing I'd really like somebody to fix, it'd be really nice, it'd make me happy. Oh, oh my brothers and sisters running XFCE. If there's ever a thing where it pops up a window above a window for an option with a proton, you click on that window, it jumps behind the uh, window behind that. Oh, fucking <laughs> seriously, right? Oh. Dude, and that, that gets on my damn nerves. So if. And then you're playing the alt tab game of where the hell is this thing? Right. I don't know, man. That's kind of a weird thing. What do we get up next? Oh, yeah, Proton Man 6000. Proton Man 6000. This is from Boiling Steam Links. All Jordan just got really quiet. Students. Did I? Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how about now? Is that better? Yeah, whatever you did, that yeah, fixed it, it. Okay. Don't do that uh, again. All right, let's close that window. Then, Quit, yeah. I guess. I guess I guess I clicked on something and whatever it doesn't matter. Proton has bought <laughs> six thousand games to Linux so far. Oh my god! Um, so yeah, this is from Boiling Steam. Links to all this in our show notes. Uh, but uh, they have uh, they have published or uh, Proton DB has uh, published a graph, and as it turns out, uh, there are now six thousand games with a platinum rating. So this is not even games that you can get That's running awesome. via Proton. <laughs> this is games that. If you install them and click play, they will just work. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's that's pretty that's pretty good. Um, we I, I, I was joking a while ago about how um, Valve is basically using Proton to make their own windows with blackjack and hookers, and you know what? Look, they kind of succeeded. It's look it's looking like. Mm. Yep. And you know the the way Proton DB used to work, it was very similar to uh, the Wine application database. Uh, where you would basically, once you submitted a report, you would give it your own score, and you could rate it as gold, silver, or bronze yourself, Right, and uh, they would just take that. Now, uh, it actually works out uh, as an aggregate of all the submitted results what the score actually is. Like, if there's a bunch of people saying, yes, the game works just fine, you can install it and run it out of the box, with no tweaking whatsoever, if there's a bunch of those reports, it goes to um, Platinum. If there's like a mixed bag of people saying it runs out of the box, or you need to install this with Proton Tricks, or you need to install this package in your distro specifically, then it goes, oh, maybe it's gold, and so on and so forth. Uh, so yeah, the way that they changed that, it actually makes uh, a lot more oh. sense, and it works really well. So you know that if it says Platinum, 
it freaking means it. <laughs> oh, okay. and like a couple of years ago, the one in AppDB was really bad for it because like you get the rating and then you go and they're like, oh, here are the reports for all the distributions. And it's like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, version of Debian from four mm -hmm. years ago. Great, this is super helpful to me right now in current year. It is, but that's one of the mm -hmm. challenges with doing anything. Like I know in um, yeah, ProtonDB, you have to like log in and do a thing, which is good because Platinum, perfectly acceptable, means that it runs at 10 FPS at 720p. To some people, they're like, oh, this, mm -hmm. this is magic. This is really also. I'm not going to name the name of the website, it's a reasonably big uh, tech blog that doesn't necessarily cover Linux or Linux gaming. They straight up just yoinked the boiling steam picture, the graph that was made mm -hmm. by the boiling steam person, plopped it in their article, and never credited it. The only Damn. I mean, dick move. Really dick. Yeah, move. no, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. I was originally going, that's why I first, like, here's the thing. That's where I first learned about the boiling steam thing on their, and they'd written about it and linked to some stuff. And I was like, wait a minute. The boil, oh, that's on boiling. Man, what a boil, oh, you dicks. But I'm not even going to tell you who it <laughs> yeah. was. Ha. You can <laughs> find it. I mean, the article's still on. Uh, top releases, 2020. Yes, March 2020, uh, as Steam uh, or Valve themselves are uh, off to do nowadays in order to try and get, you know, some developers a bit more recognition. They like to post the uh, top releases of a given month. And, oh, uh, we got they, um, standalone soundtracks since. Yep. That's one of the new things that they introduced after the Steam Labs thing was a success. So they're now they're highlighting that as well. But yeah, you see the top one right there. Mr. Black Mesa, which we threw uh, chairs at, uh, is uh, one of the top-selling games, and they also include like um, like the Avorian? top free games. Avorian, Avorian yeah. we, th we Avor threw chairs at that. Um, there, there, there are a couple uh, Linux native games here, like uh, aforementioned Black Mesa, Avorian, uh, One Step from Eden, and Super Bernie World. Um, so there you go. These are these are the top selling Linux. Oh, there's games, a porn game. <laughs> yeah, I was saying yep. time till P, man. Time till porn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like, like surprise, 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 <laughs> Doom is on this list. Yeah, right. No, didn't see that. <laughs> that impossible. No, everyone hated that game. It was crap. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm genuinely glad to see that uh, Black Mesa is up there, simply because they deserve a little bit of a reward for. Like, we mm. finished it. Shut up. Zen's done. <laughs> it's mm. like, it's done, technically. They did push out an update recently uh, to fix a couple of things. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, no, good on them. <laughs> good to see. Uh, mm -hmm. Something that happened earlier this week was a little bit of a leak. Uh, yeah, drip, drip, drip. And it was some server code for CSGO or Team Fortress 2 from, like, 2018. This is from the CSGO official Twitter thing. They wrote, hey, man. We've reviewed the leak code and believe it to be a uh, reposting of limited CSGO engine code Depot released in 2017, originally leaked in 2018. From this review, we have not found any reason for players to be alarmed or avoid the current builds. And that's exactly what I would say if I was trying to cover up an alien invasion. It's it's clear it's clearly mole people then. I was going Great. to say here they are, but I didn't think for enough investors. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you but, do see uh, a lot Steve... of people panic, though. They're like, oh, no, better uninstall yeah. it. You're going to get the hacks. And to which I reply is, have you played TF2 lately? All it is is spin bots killing people. And Valve's like, shrug about you? Can't do anything. Come on, guys. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, SteamDB uh, also got their hands on the supposed leaks uh, that came about two years too late. Uh, and they had a look through it, and uh, they were saying not just the TF2 and uh, CSGO bits, uh, there were also some unfinished Half-Life game assets in mm -hmm. there. Probably the same uh, unfinished uh, Half-Life game assets that we have talked about on this very show in the past. Oh yeah, from, from the old Source Engine leaks in uh, yep. 2017, I think. <laughs> but yeah, like, what, what, whatever, that's, that's nothing for all we know, like... That was like the proto 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 Alex. Like, yeah. hey, maybe we should we should integrate this with uh, VR. But oh at least they, man, speaking at of at least Alex, they tried to integrate though, it with uh, Linux. Yeah, lost a bet on this one. Uh, Depot Half Life Alex, which is currently available, and even Valve is like, yo, if you want to play this on Linux, use the Proton version. Well, notice something in the Depot is uh, Half Life Alex Linux binaries have showed up as three days ago, but. This doesn't mean anything other than the depot's been created. 
But yeah. it's got I'm, nothing in it. <laughs> I'm, prove me wrong, Valve. Prove me wrong. Uh, well, that's going to make uh, Pedro run out and buy a Vive. Uh, no, it won't, because I saw that. It's like, oh, that's nice. Wait a second. Is an index still a thousand pounds if you want to get Probably. like the knuckles oh, and pa- pa- the Pedro, you, and the headset? Yeah. You 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 are you are an eBay addict. I'm sure you can get like a first gen Rift for like dirt cheap these days. No, dude, it's it's <laughs> eBay in the UK, man. It'll be like a grift. Is is that like anarchy <laughs> in the UK? <laughs> Sorta, but the prices are way higher. I thought about it. I was like, do I want to then? It's just like the shopping thing. And I was like, you know what? Just drop it on the wish list. Maybe you'll get it. And I was like, no, 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 no. no. You know the psychopaths I, I, that watch I, I, this I show. That would like show up instantaneously. And yeah, I'm like, like yeah. Mike G's like, you know, I could make another car payment or I could buy <laughs> then an index. That would be, no. Mm-hmm. I don't want that because <laughs> no one wants that. Like, I, because I'd give it away. <laughs> one, like, I'll, t- I'll take it. I yeah. literally sure. have no room to put it in. So, <laughs> neither, neither, neither do I. Here's, it's not going to stop me. I'll give you the true, true. It would be um, if I had a Vive, I would play through Half Life Alex, then I would, would go, Who wants this? Because I couldn't tell you another thing that I, and I don't even want to play through Alex because I virtually experienced the playthrough like three times. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to go, yeah. No, I'm done. <laughs> uh, what do we have up next? Up next, uh, we have, well, the other Valve card game games. that uh, they released uh, not too long ago and then immediately uh, forgot about and pushed under the rug. But recently, they've decided, you know what, let's try and make something out of it. So, uh, yeah, Artifact is back on the menu, and uh, this post is basically a lot of, um, like, small tweaks that they did to the gameplay and, like, defaults of <laughs> the game itself. And oh, man, I, I misread that as cleavage, and I was like, mm, man chest. But nope. Cle- cleavage the siege. They, they call them wrecking balls for a reason, am I right? I'm, t- I'm just saying, man. Yeah, and uh, they do say that, uh, you know, besides addressing the base gameplay, uh, which is what most people seem to be talking about when it comes to Artifact Valve, because no one wants to spend 45 minutes in a single game, Valve. Uh, yeah, uh, they they do at least mention that, but uh, they don't seem to be addressing it so much. They're just well trying to... Pedro. Um, I think Pedro, they probably just like lit a couple of grand on fire and said, what was that again? I can hear you of the burning money. Watch me. I'll do it again. <laughs> I, they could do that as much as they like. I'm sure they can afford it. But as someone who enjoys uh, card games, hey, you done fucked it on that one, Val. They're trying. Yeah. They're trying. Man. Come on. They're like, trying. <laughs> no, I, I, I mean, I mean, that's that's the thing about iterative iterative game design especially with card games is that there's a lot of room to modify like how the gameplay actually functions and the gameplay flow over the course of expansions i mean i read through this thing and i'm like yeah i understand some of these words mana Mana. stuff (laughs) yeah (laughs) lanes sure i imagine this makes like more sense if you actually know how to play the game but yeah that's how you know you shouldn't like mess with the spider in the house dude if it's got the mana bar yeah, exactly. Like, oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 you, you, you walk That's up to him, then you, see that, then you see that big-ass health bar, and you're like, you know what? We're cool. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> you live here now. <laughs> That's got two health bars. Nope. <laughs> uh, speaking of Black Mesa, a minute ago, game's done quick. Uh, there's a hotfix 1.1, a little bit of patch notes for this. And, uh, well, yes. I mean, it, it's, it works, but it's got some lining updates, right? It does. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of inevitable because if you played the game at all, you probably saw like this little green thing in some levels. Oh, just you did. Flipping through all. Yeah, yeah it, it, it looks like Christina Aguilera, right? Wow. Is she green now? Uh, I'll teach you about the single South Park one day. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen South Park, uh, South Park in a long time. This is like an yeah, 18-year-old episode, too. They, I'm sure it is. Uh, <laughs> they introduced a bunch of uh, new stuff, and uh, one of the things that caught my eye in the patch notes was uh, iron sights. You can actually toggle those now, so that's nice. Yeah. That, that's yeah. a bit of an improvement on the original game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the, the Linux fix is nice considering they've been they've had a bit of a spotty history with uh, Linux and Black Mesa. Mm-hmm. It's good to see that they are. Uh, and they're using I mean, it, 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 it's 
It's a, I mean, it's Toggle because it's done on the Source Engine, right? Like, that's how yeah. you get the Linux port out, <laughs> is through Toggle. Uh, yeah, so there you go. It's hmm. definitely a thing. But maybe, maybe you want to... Yeah. Oh, I mean, like, <laughs> speak, speaking of Darkest Dungeon, that should be a Darkest Dungeon boss, 100%. I'm, I'm just I wanna saying, see a, man. I'm just I want to see a mod for that. That's not green, though. <laughs> It can it can be. It can be. Um, Have faith. Spe speaking of Darkest Dungeon, the Butcher Circus DLC is coming out, and it adds PvP. What? Um, so, yeah. What? So, yeah. Oh no, that that's so, either the best thing in the world or a horrible fucking idea. <laughs> well, so that, that that that's kind of my point. Is like it's introduce it's interesting to like introduce PvP to an RPG, especially because like any anyone who's played Dungeons and Dragons and like had their character fight another character mm -hmm. knows that classes are balanced against the enemies, not necessarily each other for combat. So mm -hmm. uh, to to that re to that regard, um, they they have completely reworked all of the classes to address this only for the PvP mode, uh, effectively. Making making it a, pretty much an entirely new game because there's a lot of classes that like give you a bunch of passive benefits like finding more gold or increasing your camping resource consumption. Um, so this is apparently a, a feature preview for Darkest Dungeon 2 that implements this in full, which is also interesting because I really want to know when I can put that in my fucking face. Um, but this is, this, is a, this is a cool, I'd say fairly unexpected move from the Darkest Dungeon team. Mm -hmm. I'm interested to see how it plays and, you know, how it works. Now, both of you know more about this than I do. Could this mechanic possibly work in co-op? Have four people playing on the same team, or is that an incredibly big no-no button? I, I mean, you you could do that, but, like, considering it would just be like, okay, it's my turn, I press a button, I think it would be kind yeah. of boring. Well, you would, yeah. but that's the entire yeah. game. You're like, oh, no, it's better when I get to press four buttons. That's what makes the game. Well, Unless I mean, you I mean, that's like four different people, but each controlling only one character. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's an you entire get, yeah, no, party that, that, of... That's uh, exactly how it would work, baby. No, that, 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 that's, that's what he's saying. But, like, the, yeah. the point is that that throws the strategic element out of the window. So then that would be, like, a team pl teamwork communication thing. Yeah. I don't know. M maybe it could be fun. I think it would be a little boring, personally, but... I think it would be higher. How much is this going to cost me, Pedro? No, uh, it is uh, not going to cost anything because okay. they do they do say they are giving it away for free permanently. So, so good so, on them for that. Wait, wait, who's going to be the first one of you to PvP me, bro? I'll do it. Right. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll Jordan's got a lot of time into that game. Hey, man, I'm uh, going to have to do a, like a Rocky montage. Dun, 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 and this is one be thing that. Sort of caught my eyes because you know it's PvP. It's going to be uh, online, player versus player. Uh, so they do that say that it will player. have an anti-cheat system, and I'm wondering what that means for the Linux you, version. Okay, you don't need anti-cheat a if it's fucking turn-based anything. Fuck off with that. B, it's not free, which is not. So fuck off with that. Uh, but no, the, there's not a me diagram of cheaters that are going to be in this PvP. Well, the, the the one the one thing I can see is like maybe it does the roles on the client side, so mm -hmm. you could like inject something to like always hit or like change make sure your that... RAM to say it's like no, you always roll the crit yeah. value. Yeah, or, you go. Or, or, <laughs> or or like the damage on this weapon is normally like three points of damage, but now Apparently it's like nine thousand points of damage. What I just said was misconstrued as it couldn't be done, which is nothing. Nothing related to what I just well, said. Listen, if but that's the thing—that's the thing with cheaters, though. If they can do it, they will do it. They will do it. The yeah. barrier <laughs> barrier of entry, I think, is too high, being that you have to buy a game, and it's not like a billion people. Are playing it. <laughs> some, some, <laughs> you, you know, some people, some pe people pay for cheats. They really want to win, no matter yeah. what. <laughs> and uh, CS:GO cheaters and well, TF2 f is free yeah, now. Yeah, free but... CS:GO free. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. The CSGO is free now. It wasn't, and there were still plenty of cheaters on it. <laughs> Into the bridge. Yay! Yes. Why are we talking about a game? This is already out. Fuck off. And we well, threw that, chairs at it, too. Nah, well, man, no, this they, doesn't they, make they, any sense whatsoever. We clearly talked about this. Because we did back in February of the 27th in the 20 of 18, since 1400. You probably heard about it, but there's a little bit of news that there's a good reason. We're like, hey, man, we need to give this a mention because there's a new version out. And uh, yeah, it, it's got a native Linux client now. No more Proton. Yeah. This was originally, wasn't this? This was a whitelisted game, too. Yeah, this was on the first whitelist. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, the which, OG. 
to its credit. I mean, it ran no issues whatsoever. But uh, this is so refreshing. So refreshing to see a developer deliver. Yet yeah, took you a minute. That's fine, though. All is forgiven with coming through. With, like we said, we're going to make a Linux version of this. Here's your Linux version. No, it doesn't matter that it's whitelisted and Valve's like, yo, everything works. Consider it native. No, I'm putting words in Valve, but you know what I mean by that, right? Mm. There's no incentive. But to still go through subset games, you beautiful, beautiful guys, girls. Uh, hey, here's your Linux version. We said we're going to do that. Took us a minute. Our bad, but have fun with it. Makes me all the happy. And... I 100% lost that bet when it was second to hit the Steam whitelist. I said, there we go. Buck in the trend, yeah. man. Good good on you, Lloyd. Yay. Thumbs up. Yeah. So, I mean, Subset's been pretty good about that. Like, um, when it became, like, available, when the technology got good enough to do so, they, like, they ported FTL onto, like, the browser, right? Like, it makes it makes sense that they've written their custom engine to be able to export to a bunch of different platforms mm -hmm. just because it's, like, they're a three-man team. They they figured out that hey if we use cross platform tools we can just produce builds for other platforms surprise it it's amazing Patreon's going to show us something <laughs> yes this Chromebook because uh, if you tried to play it with Proton using uh, Christini the uh, uh, Linux app system that uh, Google put on Chrome OS it didn't work very well to say the least, but uh, the native version, as it turns out, it works way better uh, on really low-end laptops and Chromebooks. So, yeah, no, it's uh, it runs really good now, and yeah, much like you, Ven, I didn't expect it to work Lost to that come bet. to uh, Linux natively either. It's like, mm -mm. <laughs> I like being wrong, especially with things like this, man, so good. good. Yeah. <laughs> Thought we didn't. Ending the Steam segment on a happy note. Indeed. Coming up next, danger, danger, high voltage, when we touch our NVIDIA cards. While well, they're still plugged in. So, it's around that time where often you would expect us to talk about some news? not necessarily gaming-related linux -y news, but uh, before we do that, as usual, we need to do that teeny tiny little bit of shilling. I don't know, I man. I just I just realized, system. like, I got Pedro in like three different shades, looking around the different monitors right now. <laughs> and shades it sounds of, like shade, a personal shade, problem. <laughs> shades of Pedro sounds like a slam poetry book shades of P. that no one bought. <laughs> oh, oh, three shades of Pedro. <laughs> if you want to read some sample shoppers from Ch from Shades of Pedro, you can you can support us via one of the many methods available. Not a Patreon goal. No. <laughs> yes. No. Yes, it's a Patreon. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is now. You can't stop me. You We're can't not stop doing it. it. Sh Fifty Shades of Pedro. Three hundred and thirty-three dollars a week. There. Fifty Shades fan of Fan Driven <laughs> Community Organized Shape Fifty Shades of Pete. Alright, all, all right. yeah, head, head, head on over to patreon.com. Mouse mouse your mouse over the support button. Click on some of the links there. Uh they will hunt one hundred percent support fifty they shades. They will of haunt Pedro. you, yes. No, you had it right before you corrected yourself. <laughs> they, they they will haunt you as well, as well as fund this book. Um we got Libra Pay, we got PayPal, we got all sorts of things you can do to support us. Best way to do it, Patreon, patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast with our brand new Patreon goal about erotic Pedro novels. Yeah, we'll have to make another I'm okay one. Okay with this. <laughs> um yeah, uh being being a Patreon's pretty cool though, because you get access to our Discord channel. You get to show up half an hour early on Saturdays, or not half hour, a full hour, full half hour, hour if you man. want. If you if if you're bored, half you an hour. You think we're trying but... to nickel and dime people? Full hour, not a half hour. Come on. Sure. Full full extra hour of Linux gamecast goodness as we complain and debug and Pedro restarts his computer and restarts Chrome. It's it's fun time. Uh, you can get access to our show notes, which lets you sort of watch the show congeal before mm. Saturday when we do it. And you can even suggest stories or offer corrections or just yell at us for being dummies. Mm -hmm. uh, we got we got we got a store store.linuxgamecast.com. Buy yourself some t-shirts. Um, are, are we getting the fanny packs? I really want the fanny packs. Yes. Uh, Yay, fanny packs! <laughs> fa fa fanny packs coming soon. Listen, you guys. we're gonna get those. We, we have our faces on shirts. We got Frank on a shirt. We got the Use Me Penguin. We got chairs, and most importantly, we got the Hell Oaks. I'm gonna get on those fanny packs as soon as you guys email me back. Those I, I, I'm waiting for pictures of their feet. 
Uh, I was going to give you a picture of my butt. No, same thing, but with <laughs> less toenails. Uh, yeah, go, oh, Jordan Swung, he's got butt cheeks for feet. That's why he can't run so good. <laughs> Do you want a picture of dead skin? Just layers upon layers of dead skin because I hey, don't Hey, if you don't want to mess around, we also have, like, everybody's got their own wish zone. If you want to buy these two psychopaths something, if you want to get something for the studio, uh, boo. Man, good luck on you. There, that's some pricey stuff. But you do yep. get included on the fine upstanding cannibal wall. It'd be a great place for a commercial. You could almost read your name too. Um, <laughs> one one day we'll figure out that. Yeah, you're gonna have to get like over here. It's gonna take a minute before that's gonna show back up. But um, who's that? It's the cops. Oh. Damn it. Do they know we're doing this? They're coming to get us. Yeah. Our content's too good. I'm getting arrested for 50, for writing Fifty Shades of Pedro. It's no, too subversive. I tried to I warn to, you. I have to get the front of the camera. is not okay with that. The they are stop not. <laughs> They're also not a show title. Hey, we do have some real news. Vulcan driver support is uh, something NVIDIA is really good at. You know, with the drivers and they drop them. These are the beta drivers. But recently recently like late last week early this week they dropped uh, a new version of the beta driver uh jordan they had a bunch of improvements for rtx though right yeah it seemed it seems like that was the case um actually i think oh they they, re they released uh, another one on friday that uh, fixes a bug with the x server yeah it's a whoopsie doodle all right <laughs> i was also causing <laughs> horizontal lines to corrupt uh, full screen applications okay but so, on the april 18th one yeah. that we were actually talking about uh they have some uh, vk physical device ray tracing features that are advertised properly uh memory management uh, there's some query issues this seems to be all just hey our rtx implementation is a little broken now that people are using it We've got to fix that so especially now with the vendor neutral ray tracing stuff that is being implemented as part of the vulcan spec i do like seeing this though uh but yeah man it severely jacked up uh, a lot of games that were using dxvk mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which was bad and uh that's this is like the first time i fortunately i read release notes mm -hmm. And more importantly, I always like check our Linux or someplace like that. Just to kind of get a feel. I'm glad I did. I mean, not that it would, it would take 10 seconds to uninstall them and swap it out. But yeah, that that's a bug I'm glad I knew to avoid as opposed to why is everything slightly yeah. wrong? Yeah, no, I, the, I, I had um, version 440.82 installed because it was the newest one that was available. Uh, of the non-beta drivers, and I saw the new release come out for uh, four forty sixty six oh nine. It's like, ooh, I might, I might not try that now. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, now, well, they have the fix out now. It's on uh, four forty sixty six eleven. What happened to number ten? I don't. Ten know. is missing. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I take you take full responsibility. Even Nvidia is like, don't install this. I'm like, come on. <laughs> yeah, live the, a the, little. The, the, these these are developer drivers, and for people who know what they're doing, not yeah. people who want to track stable. All right, well, that's enough Nvidia shilling. Hey, uh, Nvidia, get out. Let's talk about uh, Nvidia. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! He's the next generation. We're talking about Ampre. Ampere, Ampere. Um, get out 2020 announcement. Ampere. Has announced <laughs> the date for its GTC 2020 online event a few weeks after it was canceled May 14th. Uh, it's going to be coming out. Everyone's speculating. Uh, May 14th is when they're going to drive. It's going to be online only, I'm guessing, right? Probably. Right? It's, it's, it's yeah, going to be they Jensen. do say it is going to be uh, YouTube. He <laughs> they, they, they rented out an entire like theater too and it's just going to be empty and like Jensen talking to an empty crowd it's going to be hilarious dude it's, it's going to be like... great it's, it's going to be the sentient uh, leather jacket and that has like is the symbiote now at this point man so, Jensen's just so, there for the looks the, the, they'll never they'll never do it but it would be hilarious if they rented out the theater had the presentation every time they cut to the audience it's just like row after row of like skeletons just like Frank's <laughs> it'd be brilliant dude so what do we think about this because my first thought was you know, I had no intention of ever getting rid of my 980, which I still have. But using the 980, uh, like the 10 series, the NVN code was like, yeah, okay. They they sold me an RTX card because I give negative fucks about RTX. But they showed off that new NVN code. I was like, oh, fine, I bought one. That's why I have 2060. But, oh, and I guess I could probably play some video games on the 2060 as well. Probably. I don't know. Uh, here's my thought. We were talking about this uh, during the break. Do you, in your heart of cold black hearts, believe NVIDIA with Ampere or Amp, what just the A series? Ooh, there you go. Is going to try to release a consumer level card 
for two thousand dollars. Nineteen ninety nine. I, I, I wouldn't put it past them. Um, the Titan, that, maybe. <laughs> that, that that that's for sure. But you, remember, remember back in like late December, like early January, like hey, we have like a big announcement involving our open source contributions. I wonder what happened to that. Pff, smoke bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Change their mind, eh? Man, uh, not making that joke. Uh, but <laughs> hey, that yeah, that bugs me. I, I'm glad you bring. We should not let them never forget. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like new new cycles move really quick. It's really easy to forget that people announce things. Uh, yeah, yeah so. no, they did say that, and uh, a lot of speculation was going on around the fact that it was going to be at GTC, which was supposed to have happened. Uh, it was was it in April or March? Whenever it yeah. was scheduled, like on their site, like we're going to be talking some yeah. Linux smack right here about the open source stuff, and yeah, and, and then. Silence. Well, Pedro, Silence. Pedro Jensen just told me, he sent me a text. He's like, he'll, he'll do the Linux talk if you buy two Amper cards. I'll buy what you, what one you, if... Pedro the... doesn't buy NVIDIA cards. He gets Martin to do it for him. <laughs> that happened once. Uh, and uh, no, I will buy a card if there is something that beats the performance of the 1080 in video games for less than 400 pounds. This this is going to put you in like a weird spot because uh, Jordan's got the performance king among it. You have a 1080 Ti. Yep. And you I paid do. the iron price on top I, of that. I've... He paid the extra because fuck you. That's why Canadian price too. Yeah, I've, mm-hmm. I've hit the Canada tax. So, you know what? If they released a video card that like will give me a foot massage and like produce mm-hmm. soft serve ice cream, I might consider upgrading. But, but like... where do you go with? where's the temptation for me if i put myself in in your shoe um if 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 they release something pretty fucking sick at like the 300 dollar mark okay that might do it 500's kind of pushing it i don't know if i could go that pounds is my cutoff <laughs> see i'm just gonna say you start because that's where they they just <laughs> fucked me with the 2060 because it's like yeah whatever whatever oh yeah it's 389 i'm like ah fine i'll buy it uh <laughs> Yeah, if they offer like four hundred dollar, if they offer a four hundred dollar card, that for me just trades blues with a ten eighty t. I have to buy it. I wouldn't even think twice about it. I'd be like, yeah, why not? I'll buy one. Well, the the, I mean, the other thing you got to consider too is like the ten eighty t. I was over over engineered to high hell because they were expecting AMD to actually release a good video card that year, and they didn't. <laughs> so I thought that's what the Titan was for, not the ten eighty t. Uh, I think it was the TI. Right. I, don't know. I don't know. I listen, I'm I'll, I'll text Jensen back. I mean Jensen's code is not really Jensen, but Yeah. Well there, there's a reason he keeps that phone in his like breast pocket is because that's, that's awesome. where the typing hides the third arm. Uh, but <laughs> we get a little bit of DXVK news. We do. We do. And uh it didn't make it into the Steam update, but we may see it in a Proton update in a not too distant future. Uh well, it comes next Sunday, AD. Well I'm just saying, why don't you run likely. um the <laughs> Alpha Proton, Proton GE, as it's known. But it's Christian. You can, absolutely. And for the most part, it will actually uh, let you run a couple of games, especially the ones that need um, Media Foundation stuff. Some of those will work just fine. Others, not so much. But uh, no, this is just um, DXVK. And uh, with uh, this release, 161, uh, Deutschin is... um, Basically saying they've introduced some tear-free stuff for people out there that use, uh, well, they don't use NVIDIA and their full compositing pipeline. So you might see some tearing if you're not running vSync. Here's what I'm thinking when, right now is, can you imagine being on the DXVK team and you're like, oh, shit, man, these are right, the beta drivers on NVIDIA. They cock, all right, we need to fix that. All right, we got to fix some videos like, hey, man, we unfucked that thing. God damn, just... <laughs> yeah, that that, that that is kind of one of like the the sort of organizational flaws of open source is that with so many moving parts, mm-hmm. things get broken and fixed so quickly that you know by the time you get the opportunity to react to it, someone has already released a fix for it. That would so, probably yeah, probably open up because hey man, Nvidia's went out of their way to like address issues with Proton. Mm-hmm. So they have yeah, yeah. They, they probably won't, uh, will help establish some you know lines of communications there, but like. Hey, this, but then again, but, it could have been fixed because of that. Yeah, and th- that may very well be the case because Nvidia just pushed that out. It, 
and it highlighted some issues with how things were using uh, their validation for Vulcan on NVIDIA specifically. So now they've got around and uh, made sure that it works properly. I, so. I mean, I mean, it, it, it is a good move on, on NVIDIA's part to basically say like, okay, these guys are using our, our API in a way that no, literally no one else is. They're implementing a full, yeah. <laughs> completely independent stack on top of our own stack, which is going to poke a lot of holes in our implementation. So let's, you know, see what they're doing so that we can fix our stuff. Yeah. Because oh. because who knows what fixing that will actually fix up further upstream, which is important. It's good. It'll probably help gaming. Uh, kind of like this next little bit. Oh, check it out. Game mode. Yeah. It's, Game mod. Uh, being, it's being included in Ubuntu. Good. I mean, so I mean, it Fedora is. has been shipping twenty oh four. Fedora has been shipping game mode for a while. And it's nice around to not have to fuck with governors in order to play a game effectively. Like Feral used to give you that message, like, "Hey, you got to turn your CPU on to performance, or used else this to. game's gonna run like butt." Used well, to. I guess. I guess if you don't have game mode enabled, uh, it will still do that. But now, if you do, uh, it'll just turn the governor onto performance, which is pretty handy because I don't want to fuck around with governors, and sometimes I don't want my computer to just generate copious amounts of heat while I'm not doing anything important on there for no reason. Mm. What about in the wintertime? In the wintertime, <laughs> yeah. that's different. Then, 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 <laughs> then I just run, then I just run uh, the, what was it, Talos Principle demo on Infinite? Or the benchmark <laughs> on Infinite? Uh, yeah. Game mode's good. It's thing if you want to mess around with governors. Uh, mine's is always set to auto, and if you need it, you know it, and you'll use it. I'm going to say, if you get anything that rhymes with Ryzen or, you know, that generation, you just, you just leave it on automatic, Pedro. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah, uh, but if you just install, you know, Linux for the first time and you don't really know any optimizations that you could do if, to squeeze out the extra bit of performance for the gamings, game mode does a lot of that stuff for you. Mm. And yeah, it sets your CPU um, governor to performance while you're running the game. As soon as you stop running the game, it returns everything to how it used to be. That's very nice. That's very good. So, okay, it kicks on. Uh, does it kick on with um, Emacs or VI? Uh, you can launch yes. it from that. You can launch it from the terminal if, I, with I, game I, mode run VI. <laughs> well, so that's the thing. There are a lot of games that ship with Emacs, so some, you, you might want to do that. Or or maybe if you're using its non-linear video editing functionality, mm -hmm. you might need some extra juice, right? I get it. That That's a cool thing to see, and uh, I'm glad to see it being disintegrated directly with uh, Canonical's uh, latest version yeah. of Ubuntu. So let's, uh, here's, a, here's a real question. This is like, I'm not throwing any shade. Is there like performance governing software on Windows? Like, would or is this Moon speak to Windows users? Like, what? I I, th I think there is, but it's not. It's Windows, not anything like exposed Windows does it user. natively, and you oh, can actually so you just set get that governor with whatever it sets. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You can actually set the governor if you check the power settings in Windows Control Panel. You can go and set like processor minimum state and it usually defaults to like five percent is the minimum and the maximum okay. is 100 percent but you can I, actually control that <laughs> that that's good and remember you can always just disable cc's and bios uh, I, I mean yeah, you can always just like remove remove windows and install linux yeah <laughs> C states and bios. Um, Rog, I'm gonna give it. To yeah, you. Uh, we, we got to thank our Thern for uh, this this uh, story. Um, you can do that if you're a Patreon. Uh, Rog tools. Yeah. So some people uh, insist on buying portable computers that are portable. In the oh, sense you can have you a, can, No, it needs to yeah, blink. Yeah, you, you, if it doesn't yeah, blink, you, I don't mm -hmm. want that trash, man. Get that trash. Up no, 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 no. Well, no. You you can buy a portable computer that you can determine which wall you are attached to, but mm -hmm. that's about it. There's not minimal portability beyond that. Uh, so this is this is for you. Uh, this is ROG Core. It is for controlling the, like Ben said, the RGB bullshit that you get on fancy <laughs> gamer laptops like the ones from Asus ROG. Um, What's cool about this is that it is done in it's it doesn't require root access. It doesn't require a kernel module. It's all done through the interrupts. Um, and yeah, currently I believe it supports the uh, GX502, the GA502, and the GL753. I don't know what any of these laptops are, but they work. Listen, Jordan, um, you call it a gaming laptop, I call it a workstation on a budget with blinky shit. It's true. 
the blinky shit is the tax that you're paying for getting it for slightly cheaper. <laughs> what if it was but yeah, un now you get to control. What if it just strobed 24 sevens? But but it was like 600 quid less. Yeah, and you can, you know, now you can have some control on Linux over that uh, strobing effect. Okay. <laughs> uh, and, give, I, and give the people around you a seizure, yeah. Unless they make <laughs> horrible life choices, I'll never have to investigate any of the software. <laughs> That's right, MSI. Dude, it's a staggering After amount. Burner. Oh, man. I get like RGB all on this motherboard that's never cut on, and I hopefully it never gets cut. I, I, I'm terrified of a kernel update that just lights it up, and I have to go and stab it all out. It's. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, no, Good my times. motherboard is just R. It just has the R bit. But mm. uh R Game R. Hub. The Game Hub folks have released a new update and uh they fixed some updates for GOG and the Humble APIs. They have initial support for itch, more Ooh, UI itchy. customizations, and um yeah, they basically the rest of the stuff reads. Oh, that's something that Lutris does. That's something that Lutris does. That's something that Lutris does. And well, but the last Pedro, one is just you bug can fixes. get all of your games in the one place. Look, that makes it look like GOG. I mean, this offers yeah. that GOG Galaxy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, or, or or if you want to out hipster Strider and you not use Lutris, this is your option. Yeah, it's uh, Lutris 2.0 over here. <laughs> if Lutris is too mainstream, there you go, free from Linux Gamecast. There's your new tagline. Done. Print it. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> Pedro can help me. Pedro's like, well, now it sounds more appealing. <laughs> I might do it now. <laughs> I might have to install and try it out. That's good. I'm glad it's there. Uh, hey, man. Options. Options are good. You know? Mm hmm. I guess Lutris needed some competition. Strider. Get on it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, well, he's already true. saying switching to Games Hub. Oh, well. <laughs> well, well. so the, 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 that's the beautiful thing about the Lutris project, too, is that if they develop a feature that Strider really wants for Lutris, he can just mm -hmm. steal it. I don't know. <laughs> Strider's just jelly. He's like, oh, man, you yoinked that before. Man, the boo. All right. Uh, All right speaking free, of Humble. Free games. Yep. Yeah, free games on Humble. Uh, this one is Influent, and it is like a first person Shenmue thing, I guess. I'm not really sure. Um, see, that's but the it's... face of somebody that installed uh, Game Hub instead of Lutris. Like, see. <laughs> I thought that was the face of someone who installed no, Game Hub instead he, of Lutris. No, no, no. Common mistake. He's the rain cloud. Mm, I thought he was the mailbox. Uh, oh, easy dog. to make. Easy to make mistakes. That's a lot of meat, dude. Is that you, That better not be people. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I would throw some of that in the freezer. You can't eat the meat fast enough for it to, I don't know. before you it goes bad. cake on the top shelf, meat on the bottom. Uh, I mean, oh, I'm, the I'm cake is sure. a lie. The oh. cake is a lie. I get, get those dollar bills, yo. I, I am genuinely surprised there is less, there's not so much alcohol <laughs> in that. jet plane, so. so why not? Man, I want this apartment where I can fly mm -hmm. my jet. Shit. Man. Well, I mean, you, you can pretend to live that life because it's free on Humble right now. It has a native Linux version, so that's pretty yep. sweet. Six days, five hours, 39 minutes and 41 seconds as of now to go ahead and yoink it. Uh, good on you, Humble. It's nice to give people things that they can play when they're it's stuck. It's a translation home. game that uh, is supposed to teach you, like, the words for things in other languages. And you wait can a minute, buy wait, wait, different wait, 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 wait. Is this a game trying to educate me? Yes. Oh, fuck that nonsense. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You yeah, can who, actually buy, like, uh, separate language modules. Uh, th then to who, what? Who to what, to Pedro? Extend? No, 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 no. To what? Do I can fly around in my little jet plane and shoot them? And Yeah, uh, but you, 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 can, you can fly pew, around pew, in Russian. It says, uh, bang, blue. bang, guys. Sakura, pew, pew. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know what what what, what kind of what, what kind of idiot puts out educational content? It's just complete. It's a complete waste of time. I, I've I've been accused of less. Uh, but <laughs> let's talk about Super Bohemians. Bomb bit bomb. Bombing. Is this that was a good the real life? <laughs> Is this just Bomberman? Possibly, well, it's uh, platformer right. Bomberman. If we're being Bond honest. Intent. What? Nintendo. But there's a new. Go ahead. Uh, for, yeah, we, were new having, we were having a moment, Pedro. Thanks. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm spoiling it because uh, clearly the developer speaks Portuguese, probably Brazilian. Uh, but uh, yeah, Super Bombinhas, uh, very What's clearly written in Portuguese. Ruby? Name. Nothing. Who the? G- G- uh, you, you know, people 2005 complain about. Five cold at once is language, Mac. Come on. <laughs> yeah, seriously. People, people complain about games being written in Java, but not about Ruby ones. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> hey, be consistent. It, it was a good language to learn on ten years ago. I'm sure it was, but yeah, basically, roughly translated, it translates to super tiny bombs, uh, and version not two o is currently out, and it supports joysticks. Uh, it saves full screen settings, sound effects, a uh, new item shield, new features, a star and startup item, adjustment to stage one one to make it a bit easier. So apparently, it was one of uh, those uh, Facebook. Rage games, uh, not Facebook, YouTube. They're basically the same thing nowadays. What? Hmm? So, uh, so, uh, so, I, 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 let, 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 let me, let me, let me just go on a rant about the RBM. Ruby, Jordan. I haven't heard it. Uh, oh, dude. So, Ruby has this problem where it's not really forwards or backwards compatible. So instead, they need to offer the solution called RVM, which will just download the version of Ruby that you want mm-hmm. and try to build it. But then your MySQL libraries are too new, so it can't. And uh, sorry, but continue. It is true, but you it, it was an incredibly mission critical uh, piece of infrastructure that uh, it, it, someone it, made a lot of money it is for a vote, but yeah yeah <laughs> i just i just want to kill that server already it's so old uh before we get out of here i made a little thing for everyone at home because you know rtx voice it's out and people are playing with it Ooh, sexy profile uh, enough to the point to where i saw enough videos recommended to where i checked it out i'm like what are they doing with rtx voice and it looked like all the youtube kids were like hey man it's going to cancel background noise. I'm going to stick a fan on a microphone. I was like, I can do that. I have a microphone. Oh, look, I had to go looking for the fan. And uh, this is a little program. Uh, this is a plugin, a LV2 plugin we use called Noise Repellent. And I took the Pepsi Challenge with it. There's a video. There's links to LingusteamCast.com. Uh, this is our audio setup. That's what you see. Well, you don't see to the left. And I, I knew the YouTube kids would love it because they're like, look, a bunch of blinky lights and shit in the guy's background. Yay, he knows what he's talking about. Incorrect, but I still talk nonetheless, showing you um, how we can cancel out background noise. And of course, people jumped in immediately, maybe rightfully so. And they're like, this is wrong. The NVIDIA invented this technology from scratch, you moron dum-dum. And um, RTX voice, you know what? It's neat. It's neat, but it's nothing new. And it sure as fuck all doesn't require RTX or CUDA. It can be done on the CPU. The computational penalty for doing this in real time? Fucking almost nothing on a modern CPU. Now, there's a short demo in there of just a caveman. Because I set a noise profile because this is something that we actually use. And I did this because it would be fun. I thought it would be fun. The internet might have thought differently. I was just having a good time. I was like, it would be fun. I got an excuse to aim a fan at a microphone and record it. Why not? And I get some more noise and all that. And, you know, to people pointing out, like, well, it's uh, RTX voice. They clearly missed the fucking RTX card I have in the background. Like, I own an RTX card, fuckos. Um, I'm not hating on, uh, you know, Baby Jensen's uh, sentient jacket. But uh, a common thing was like, well, RTX voice does it automatically. There's a link to the other program that's also installed on our Discord channel strip on the um, digital mixer, which does it automatically too. And it's deep learning powered, just like RTX voice still doesn't require tensor cores, doesn't require CUDA. So is it, and the is performance it impact is far more negligible than the current RTX voice. It, it, it's but, kind of fun. But, but is it deep hurting powered? Like 2000 X 11. My favorite, my favorite thing so far with this video was because I this was a straight up LGC commercial because this is clickbaity as fuck. But even though it's completely legit and I deliver what it says in the title, I've already seen the comments. This is where I checked out because somebody else was like, "How do I double click install it?" Poof, smoke bomb. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> All right, got what I wanted out of it. Hope you did as well. I got nothing that I wanted. Coming up next, it's the re 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 review of Into the Breach. This time with native Linux goodness. Now with Penguin so- Action.
Welcome back to the chair acquisition. This one's this one's a little weird because we're we're throwing chairs at a game. We we kind of threw some chairs at already. It's a, it's a re, re, re review. It's ass mode. What? It's it is one hundred percent ass mode because the uh, the the fine folks at Subset Games embrace ass mode as a way of life and have produced a native Linux version of Into the Breach, which what? was previously uh, available only on Linux via Proton. It was on the whitelist, but you didn't have a native version. <laughs> they <laughs> promised one. <laughs> We, Ubunit. We, Ubunit. Ubunit. Oh, wait. Ubunit. Damn it. That, that's legit. <laughs> Ubunit. Oh, <my>. Ubunit. <laughs> 1404. Hold on. Hold, hold on. I'm going to Ubunit. Oh, man. Don't Ubunit it. <laughs> And, Again. And, 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 anywho, they they did they did promise a native version, and lo and behold, they made good on that promise. So we're gonna we're gonna take another look at the game and see if right. it's any better or Fine. worse. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. Uh, how, how did it run on Debian? Uh, well, I was going to install Ubuntu did, but. <laughs> but, <it's, laughs> but it was a little sticky and you had to like run out of paper towels. Uh, possibly. Why do I still have that up? Boom. There we go. Uh, check it out, man. Uh, Debian 10 testing. It's thing. I'm running here on a Threadripper 1920X, uh, 32 gigajoules of RAM, all that hotness displayed with a 2060 clearly needed for this graphical juggernaut. Um. Here's a fun story. I started this game and it launched and was going through the menus and all that fun bits. It's like, I don't remember this heavy ass soundtrack that was just like chugging in the background. Like, I'm down with this. That must have been updated. Then I realized I had VLC open. It's kind of sad for a minute. It's like, ah. But uh, yeah, it, it launched in a window, which I'm a huge fan of, starting a game in windowed mode. And uh, it booped right into full screen. When I tap the go button, keyboard keyed, the gerbil clicked. And I love, love the fact that you can play this out of the box with the X-Clone controller. 100%. You don't have to even mess around with anything. It just like, does this. Oh, that were, Oh, I can sit back and play this. Okay, I can put some time into this because I'm not hovered over the keyboard and mouse waiting. While I loathe turn-based strategies, uh, I did remember not hating this with a passion of a Windows 10 update. So I was like, I, I was not necessarily upset about having to revisit it. And I also appreciated the option, which I think every game should have in turn based strategy, is to speed up the in enemy movements during turns. Because I would like to just be able, is that just me? Wouldn't you like to just be able to disable that completely? Let me move, then boom, all their chess pieces just instantly move, quit wasting all the time watching the animations. Or is that a thing both of you like? Uh, I don't necessarily like or dislike it. I do find it useful to like see the play, the turn by turn, play by play, just so I have a better idea of what happened in my own head. Okay, that's just me. I don't mind it. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, it, I'd be happy if it just clicked over. But you know, at the end of the day, smashing monsters is fun. I don't care if it's turn based strategy. You know, punching to move the baddies so you can nope them with the tanks. Also, you know, punch them into buildings and punch them into other. Um, your players or whatever you, you're mechs right mechs yeah. with treads and yeah call them tanks <laughs> and you know keeping the monster holes blocked as a reason that's a fun mechanic that that's a new depth because fuck you that's why plenty of spreadsheet simulation is in this game if you want to get into that and i suggest you do or you'll end up like me dying on the third map uh you do need to build up a tolerance to turn-based strategy games well I'm not, you don't need to but if you want to Try shooting yourself with smaller ones like this and uh, see if it works out. Because I, I could play this, but I'm rubbish at it. I die really quick. Not really quick. Third map, third map on the first island. Then, then the game just, to me, I feel like I'm, I'm just getting skull fucked. And I don't know what I should be doing. But if you find playing turn-based strategy requires you to have something else to do, like I do, I'm going to play this game. But I need to get a TV show to watch or something to read while I'm waiting. This isn't going to change that, but it might be something to uh, wet your toes in. So I, and just, we were gushing over subset games, keeping good on your word, good on you guys and goyles, man, a hundred percent. I'm going to say, I mean, it just works. It's quality. It's not half ass. And it's too, because I, I gotta be honest with, you know, anybody who keeps track of me, man, I, it's not my genre of game, but I'm always willing to try. Yeah, so let, let's let's be real. You can run this game on a Nokia 3310. It's not that complicated. That said, on Fedora 3064 bit with the S7 6700K, the GTX 1080 Ti, this graphical juggernaut, 
Runs out of the box. Um, it doesn't play too nice with Steam input, though. I had to disable that. I have it enabled, um, and I disable it on per game basis. These guys do the opposite, but it doesn't really matter. You just got to turn it off. No big deal. Um, one thing I do appreciate, some games don't do this in when they have like different releases across platforms, is the consistent control scheme. The, if I press a button on the PlayStation controller or on the Switch, it'll basically do the same thing, which I, I like. Um, Fun-wise, I mean, so this this is kind of weird for me because I mostly play this game while I'm on the toilet taking a crap. Sitting in like a chair or a couch while playing it just doesn't really seem right somehow uh, after after all this time. So, I mean, it's it's my crack. I, I love this shit. Turn-based, grid-based strategy. I am all about this nonsense. Um, time or platform doesn't really change it. Native or no, it doesn't really change my opinion of the game. And I've sung this game's praises enough. It's great. You should play it. Uh, and if not having a Linux version was the thing that was holding you back, it don't know mo. Four chairs. Yeah, and over here, uh, once again, I was distracted by my own gameplay. Uh, <laughs> I was just about to rest. accuse you, and I was like, just give it a second. He might narc on us. Yeah, but he's like, oh, this the... is an amazing gameplay. Yeah, no. Uh, Such gameplay. I was basically shouting at myself internally. It's like, misplay, misplay, misplay. There were a couple of them already, so it's, yeah. But no, um, over here with the Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080 now running on KDE Neon versus the last time when we threw chairs at this game, which was in uh, Solus, it launches. Yeah, it absolutely does. Uh, the frame limiter gets a bit confused uh, on the 2K screen because it's got the 144 hertz uh, refresh rate. So it locks the game to 72 FERPs rather than the 60 that it says it will uh, in the little tooltip that it shows you. But it does work with the Steam controller and the DualShock 4 V2. So kudos to them uh, on that. Uh, but clearly the mouse is where it's at. It's... Uh, that was clearly like the main input that they targeted, at least for the PC version, and it works really, really well. Really, I, I, I just, just to interject. I found it less work to use the controller because I could just press up to get up and start. Uh, 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 Single-handed yeah. gameplay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, I have about fifty hours of this on my Switch, mm -hmm. and I've, I've played it exclusively with the controller, so. Single-handed gameplay, man, it does it for me. But yeah, I honestly, I can't really say that I had more fun with the native Linux version. Uh, yes, having the native version is awesome, and I wish a lot more games would do this. However, when it comes to my enjoyment of Into the Breach as a video game itself, I still very much enjoy it, regardless of uh, whether I have to use Proton or not. I like it a lot. More so than FTL, so very good job. Four chairs. <laughs> there, there you go. Like, like I said before, if not having a native Linux version was the thing stopping you from getting this game, it has a native Linux version. So For you all intents and purposes, man. I mean, both of you are into this genre. And how FTL is it? So F FTL, FTL is a very different it's game different. than this. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> it's very. I understand different. that, but how FTL is it? Is a question. Uh, so, so, soundtrack wise, I do like the addition of like actual <laughs> instruments to the blips and bloops. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, there, there is actually a small crossover with FTL because there are three pilots you can recruit uh, that are aliens from FTL. You get a Rockman, a Mantis Man, and I think one of the Slugs. Um, but yeah, like. F F F FTL is a lot more timing based. This is a lot more like information and chessy. So now, one yeah, thing I this is to basically know. like yeah, really. Sh cons yeah. Um, I'm missing a word here. Good, but yeah, very basic chess. <laughs> one thing: Did the game ever take pity on you, or was this a bug? Because I ran into a couple of situations where the baddies were shooting themselves. Oh no! You can. Oh, that you happens. Can, that that happens. Yeah. Okay, I was wondering, is like, am I playing that bad? And it's like, oh. <laughs> and you can actually exploit that to basically get all of the aliens to kill each other. Yeah, nice, good to know. They're, all right, they're... good game, guys. Thanks for keeping your word. I mean, mm -hmm. that means a lot. That was appreciated. <laughs> Indeed. All right, coming up next, we got two bits of hate mail about <laughs> Le Cru. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. And if you'd like to learn how to speak Portuguese, do not email me. Seriously, just don't. I, I, I don't 
have the necessary mental capacity to teach you that. Like, Bitch, I don't know how to count either, man. Don't. <laughs> One, yeah, I tr- five, purple. You know what? I was Fuck on a with Portuguese. Him. Fuck with him uh, a little bit. Ask him to count to six. <laughs> I was on a Portuguese podcast uh, last week, mm-hmm. and uh, that was a shit show because all of a sudden I had to remember how to. Uh, you know, say the stuff that I talk about here on this very show in Portuguese is like, oh, mm. fuck. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> now I, what? <laughs> I, I have to ask one for the class. How do you say Linux in Portuguese? Linux. Why do you say it wrong in Portuguese? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don't you know yeah, it's pronounced the- Linux? <laughs> there's a there, there's a couple of different pronunciations of things and a lot of stuff that needs to be translated and my brain isn't working in Portuguese anymore so that's kind of a problem so yeah if you'd like to uh, it's like let your us know stuck about in Midgard and it's illiterate yeah <laughs> if you'd like to let us know just uh, how many times I cocked up the English during this particular show, you can go to linkscapecast.com, hit the contact button, fill out the form. LGC Weekly should be the one that it defaults Oop-oo. to. So we will... <laughs> we will always get some of your no, hate oopoo. mail. <laughs> yes, Upu! Upu, nay! Upu, yay! <laughs> Alright, we, 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 got, we got a first one. It's from Tone, or it's from, not yeah, it's from, can't read it's from now, it's called it's called I clicked on the wrong link. All right. It's called, it's called I it's from J Mac and it's called I miss you Sandy. He says, "Sandy, please take me back. I miss you." I can't speak for Sandy, but I know that he'd probably say yes. Sandy get your punk ass. Wake up on Saturday night. Come say hi. Wake up on Saturday yeah. night. I don't know. That <laughs> yeah. was a segment. Somebody misses Sandy. I'm like, "I remember but hey, you can always check out Sandy usually on Thursdays, though, right? Yeah, he's yeah. he's usually here two Thursdays a month, um, playing games with me. Is that third Thursday? Th- you got to watch out for man. You can never tell. It's RNG. So, well, that, that that that's when that's when Sandy has to enter the Sandy sleep. <laughs> enter the Sandman. Yes. <laughs> he got to ex- He's got to exit his nightlight and enter his <laughs> exit night nightlight. night. Uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, okay, that's where go that with you. Want to go with that? Tony writes in. He's like, yo. I was watching this video about the crew. It's like, Pedro, it's kind of weird calling one of the largest game maps to date absolutely tiny. You heretic. I'm out of throwing a word in there. <laughs> Great video, nonetheless. Guessing the second game doesn't run at all since I can't find any footage of it. Info on it. Frowny face. Uh, okay, the crew, was that the Come game? Back. Hang on. <laughs> was that the game that you were playing where you were driving around and it kept crashing on you? Uh, yeah, that's the, the stream where it ended that I, I tried to do the one mission that I could to progress the story, and it kept crashing, yes. <laughs> that's since been fixed, by the way. It wasn't it, that it, it just it, kept crashing. It's that it crashed to the point where Pedro tapped the fuck out of the stream. He's like, why well, I can't play anymore. Bye. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, go back and watch it. I mean, it's there. It's like, Go ahead and argue that. We can pull it up real quick if you want to see that moment. But yeah, no, the absolutely tiny comment, let's uh, not go around uh, taking what I said out of context, because I said, comparatively speaking to the actual map of the United States, it's absolutely tiny, but yeah, it is a pretty big map. Compared is it? to, um, it is. I mean, compared to like GTA 3 or 5? Or six, or it's whatever. Suppo- it's suppo- it's, oh, it's yeah. like an, it's an, it's an abridged <laughs> version of the entire United States. Yeah. You could literally drive the route um, 66 if you wanted to. You'd probably have to make some guesstimations because it's not marked properly. But you can drive route 66 from one coast to the other. <laughs> but here, here's a question. Can you get your kicks? Mm, dude, uh, more to the point. What about the... Wait, is there a second one? <laughs> the cr- the there crew is. Two, there is uh, the crew room. too. And more crew? Yeah, the, that one does not work crew harder. at so you, all. So you're saying that there was a crew cut? <laughs> yeah, go fuck yourself. That's pretty good. Oh! Yeah, that, that, yeah. that was pretty good. It wasn't oh. cut, though. It, 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 nope. it was released. Nope, not getting better than that. <laughs> On that bombshell. Excuse the music. You can always find us around 8.30. Wait, 9.30? 8.30? Yeah, 8.30. 8.30. Eastern Standard Moon Time. Uh, now he doesn't know how clocks work. The crew that got cut, they helped me out. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, just at Vin Stone on Twitter or at Vin at mass.linuxgamecast.com. 
I am there uh, mixing mad linguistic soup. I am said linguistic <laughs> soup. My name is Jordan Swung, and you can find me on Twitter. I want my mixer cool. back. <laughs> or at Frojo at uh, mass.linuxgamecast.com. I can't really touch my mixer right now because it's plugged in, so... Uh, yeah, no, you can find me on Twitter at unaccounted4. It's kind of where I am. So, yeah, poke me on there. Mix it up, Magic. Poke, poke. <laughs> Did we learn fuck and or oh this week, lads? <laughs> Did we? I don't uh, remember. Uh, we had a moment, I'm I mean, sure. I was I reminded of things. Yeah. How about we I learned. I learned to take better notes on Linux Gamecast. <laughs> Good night, ladies and gentlemen. We, we love <laughs> if I can find the credits. Yay! Wait, <laughs> credits are too small. No, we're getting attacked by Netflix. <laughs> no, no. Damn you, Netflix! <laughs> Wait, those are the wrong credits. Those are tiny credits too. That's some bullshit. <laughs> now it's Disney who's coming after us. Yeah, the, the, those are the Wednesday credits. Yeah, how are those? <laughs> I know for and a now fact. Now Netflix is going to come after us again. <laughs> We're going to get better. it. You know, you, know, you know what? I, I would rather have Netflix come after us than Disney. Disney does not fuck around. <laughs> Disney will straight up cut you. <laughs> you know what? They'll be the regular credits because if I... Wait. Maybe it's this. Yeah! Ah. Uh, yeah! We did it! <laughs> persistence that's that's how we're still here we're not good yeah. but we show up every week yep <laughs> we're not the best we were uh, available no, no one comes here expecting it to be good people come here because we're the only ones yeah Ep episode, episode cdi default, brought to you by phillips default, default. <laughs> look at look at all those beautiful people who are thrilling scrolling Arthur through empty atomic ass mike g bob rat aldeus mackie scott frostclaw drummer seven lutris and libra quest a tribe called libra quest anyways we also got to thank <laughs> david s smashly g michael Egal, jolly topical gaius met you again max yabo stonyfish cortez g che mr alert michael and brad s Masvoni. Dan W, Nubin, Luke W, Matt C, Mike W, Christopher C, Frazo, Aldius, Colsta, Dirty Dean, Nova King. I think Nova shows up twice in here. Probably. <laughs> Grays and the Targos. <laughs> Mr. Fox Dog. If you're Eddie missing Jack. from the credits or want to be removed, contact me. These are only semi automated <laughs> each and every week. <laughs> They're bound to be mistakes with us. Oh, abso absolutely. Uh, you're all crazy and you're all awesome. You know who's also crazy? The nope. the fuck buddies. Hein Ben said. Yeah, there they are. Bye. Bye. Got cut. Ja jazz arms. <laughs> jazz arms. <laughs> I believe I can fly. <laughs> Blam. <laughs> Losing altitude. Five dudes. <laughs>